Assalamu alaikum. How are y'all doing today? It's been a while. I haven't vlogged in maybe like, I don't know. It could be a week or two, it could be two. I actually just don't remember. It is officially moving day. Alhamdulillah. I'm all packed up. All my stuff is packed. I'm just waiting for the moving company to show up to take all my stuff. Up until last night, I was so just anxious and stressed. I just, it felt like there was this heavy like, like ball or like just weight in my like chest. Alhamdulillah, man, last night had to just after Maghrib, like make a dua and be like, uh, Allah, please help me. And like, I should have done that sooner. I don't know why I didn't. But after I did that, suddenly like everything started falling into place. All my like worries started melting away. All my boxes ended up getting closed. All my like flight stress went away. I got an offer for a really cheap upgrade. So I took it. It was like $100, $150. Alhamdulillah, man. Like, And the upgrade thing, actually, uh, it's not how it sounds it's purely like a self-conscious thing basically uh, i was flying economy obviously and in economy on air canada when you fly if you take a small trolley bag they often end up asking you to check it in i also had a backpack or I have a backpack so i'd have two pieces right and often that can be an issue when you're traveling air canada economy because they'll make you check in your trolley bag because there's often a space issue in the cabins above. So because of that, I had this worry that they're going to make me check in my trolley. And I, I really didn't want to check in the trolley bag. I'm acting as if it happened already. I don't want to check in the trolley bag because the trolley bag has a bunch of important documents and it has some like fragile items and trinkets and basically stuff that's important to me and normally i don't travel with this stuff but i'm moving to vancouver so because of that i have to take everything i have to be a little strategic about how i take everything so alhamdulillah i got that uh, upgrade offer and i took it and because of that i won't have to you know check in my trolley bag i can just keep my stuff with me so that's like a concern which doesn't sound like an issue but it was really weighing on me. So Alhamdulillah for that, man. I'm, I'm very happy about that as well. I'm still feeling a little nervous. I woke up early today, prayed, showered, closed my suitcase. Like I'm all set to go. I realized I hadn't eaten anything yet and I'm gonna end up being busy for the next like four or five hours probably because I assume that's how long it's gonna take for the moving company to take everything and blah, blah, blah. But because I was so stressed, I don't feel like eating anything. I decided to just make myself a cup of milk with some honey, which I still have. I still have a few things in the fridge and freezer. I need to decide where to chuck it out now, chuck it out later, because I'm going to come back in like a month or so uh, just to do some final bits and bobs, inshallah. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I really wish I had some haldi though. I love honey so much, man. What a, what a blessed piece of food, you know? Piece of food? Food? Syrup? It's amazing. But yeah, look, it's all packed. All right. These are empty. All packed. All packed. Alhamdulillah, man. I've also got uh, my locker, which is like outside. And that's full of stuff. I didn't bother bringing it into the apartment because it's right next to the elevator. And so I decided they can just, the moving company will just grab stuff from the locker directly. I just need to make sure that I grab my lock. There's a lock on the locker. I need to take that with me. I can't just, I don't want to leave it because it's a nice lock and I can use it in the future in my next place, which will inshallah have a locker too. Feels so surreal. Inshallah, it all goes well, man. I'd say make dua for me, but you're probably gonna see this like way after I've actually moved. Alhamdulillah, man. I, you know what? Make dua for me anyway, it's fine. Also, these guys are very professional, very good. 
thus far. We'll see how it goes, Aage Jaake, uh, moving forward. They gave me a quote. I'm curious to see how close we get to the quote, because I saw the reviews thing. They often get quotes, and then the actual cost ends up being insane. I spoke to them about this. They said it won't happen, because I provided a very detailed list of stuff. But we'll see. Inshallah, it's fine. Won't be having to deal with this anymore. Also that pool, gross. All that construction, gross. All of that. Oh, inshallah my next place has no construction around it. It is pouring. <laughs> oh wait, can you see that? Oh, beautiful. The weather is lovely. I, I'm gonna go uh, and live in this basically in Vancouver where it's gonna rain 24 7. But uh, Alhamdulillah, I get to make dua in this as well. And uh, dua in the rain is special. So I'll take it. And uh, yeah, around here they've pretty much grabbed most of the stuff. Uh, they're doing a really great job. They're being as efficient as possible. It is so surreal just seeing everything <laughs> like gone. It's, it's actually happening. I am actually moving, inshallah. I actually am going to see once everything's done, depending on the time, I'm going to see if I can take an earlier flight so that I don't get there as late. Right now, my flight's at 8 p.m. and uh, it's a five hour flight. I land in Vancouver at 10 p.m. because there's also a three hour time difference. But uh, let's see, let's see. If it doesn't make sense to change, I won't bother, like in terms of price and whatnot. It's all going pretty smoothly, so I'm, I'm very grateful for that, Alhamdulillah. This is cool. So they've got stickers which they're putting on each and every item that goes just to like market essentially. I have a very detailed inventory list of everything that's gone with them so when i get it on the other end it's not going to get lost so alhamdulillah that's pretty cool i found this tape which you probably can't tell is that there's thunder and lightning i was really hoping some lightning would happen by now Oh well. Full on like thunderstorm going on outside. Ah, place is empty now, other than this one so far. It feels weird, to be honest. <laughs> the place has become so echoey, you know? I'm just like in a bit of shock. Alhamdulillah, man, it's for the best. I'm just so tired and I was considering taking an earlier flight, but it ended up taking the full two hour, uh, four hours uh, I had booked the elevator for. I wasn't expecting that. So it's 2 p.m. now. I really need to praise Zohar and I'm really hungry. So I need to eat something. So I'm gonna just take it easy for a bit. I'm gonna like flop my butt right there. And I'm just gonna like chill. I was planning on going out to like, to do one or two small things, but now I can't be asked with the rain and all. Part A of moving, part uno complete. Now I just need to get my butt there. Inshallah that happens safe and soundly. I actually got an email yesterday saying that the flights might be messed up because it's apparently snowing in Vancouver tonight, which is insane because it like snows once a year there basically, or like for one week of the year. And it's already snowed. The snow is meant to be done, but it's back. So anyway, it's okay. Alhamdulillah, man, Alhamdulillah. It knew I was leaving, so it gave me one final, like, goodbye alarm. <laughs> I just finished playing Zoya, this is...
looks like the clouds are passing. Oh man, they're going that way. <laughs> it's uh, just after Asr. I am feeling very sleepy. I slept maybe like four, four and a half hours. And now that all the stuff is gone and I'm just kind of sitting around, the like exhaustion is hitting me. The past few like weeks have also been very like just tiring between work and packing and all. I'm just like kind of drained if I'm honest. My flight's been delayed by like another like 40 minutes. So that sucks. Uh, not only is there bad weather here, maybe you can hear the thunder, but there's also bad weather in Vancouver. Uh, and because of that, it's all just kind of piling up. And I'm just trying to decide what to do. Like, sh should I just go to the airport and hang out there? I have my laptop. I can kind of just sit around. Uh, I could maybe do some work. Although I really just don't have the brain cap brain ca brain capacity <laughs> to like do anything or should i just hang out here i've got a comfy sofa i can sit on and chill i'm feeling just i just want to go you know that's that's the vibe i'm on right now i also don't have a weighing scale to like see how heavy my suitcase are i know one is exactly the allowance the other one I weighed it and it was five kilos under the maximum requirement and then I put more stuff in it and by the time I put more stuff in I'd already packed away my um, weighing scale so I have no idea it could be fine it could be over it doesn't feel that heavy to me but like I uh, lift bro so <laughs> no I'm, I'm kidding please please don't crucify me I got uh, really bored. <laughs> Get crap out Everyone's of Everyone's <laughs> I got really bored, so I've just come to the mm -hmm. coffee shop. I'm If I was scared out of my mind, I got myself a little muffin because I was getting so bored of sitting inside and I wanted to fall asleep but I don't want to sleep yet. Uh, I want to sleep on the plane, actually. The five hour flight, I get really bored on the plane. And also once I get to Vancouver, I need to sleep. The weather's kind of nice right now with the rain stop and all. Hopefully I won't get soaked later when I'm standing waiting for an Uber. I, I'm still here, by the way. Um, my flight was originally at 8, 10 p.m. <clears throat> Then I got a message saying it's been delayed to 8.40 p.m. Then a little while later, I got a message saying it's been delayed till 10 p.m. Then a little while later, I got three messages in a row. The first one said your flight's been delayed even further and it's at 10 p.m. again. Then it said it's been moved earlier and it's at 10 p.m. again. Then it said it's been moved later and it's at 8.40 p.m. again. So I have no idea when my flight is. I'm just going to do the safe thing and I'm going to leave after I pray Maghrib in like 15 minutes and uh, inshallah we'll see what happens once I get to the airport. I just think it's so funny that the day I'm traveling is the day all of this happens. The day I am moving to Vancouver, all of this happens. The day I'm moving to Vancouver, it rains heavily here for the first time in months, uh, no months, in weeks. And in Vancouver, it's snowing for the first time in a couple months. SubhanAllah, man. It's crazy. It's crazy out here. Alhamdulillah, man. God is good. God is good. In the meanwhile, should we do a little chocolate? It's meant to be a chocolate chip muffin, but it feels really bready. Let's taste test. Bismillah. It's, uh, it's kind of dead. It's not a very good chocolate chip muffin. That's kind of sad. Anyway, inshallah, the next one will be amazing. It's uh, nearly 7 p.m. here, and I've decided to just go to the airport. Don't know if my flight is at 8.40 or at 10, but I think it's at 10, 
But just in case it gets moved earlier again, I'm going now. Uh, it'll take me about, inshallah, 20 minutes to get to the airport. So I'll be over an hour early for my flight. Or I'll be nearly three hours early. We'll see what happens. Uh, I can't vlog till I get in the car because I have three bags. So. It said one minute away, but he's not. The weather is actually really pleasant. It's uh, 10 degrees right now. Uh, but it's a little windy, so it's more like 6, 7. I just want to get to the airport and check in. I want to check in, hand my bags, in, and then I'll feel a bit more relaxed, essentially. I think my car is almost here. Nice. And he's done it. He's in the airport. So I'm in the airport. I'm currently trying to find coffee. I got to my gate, and the only things around was Starbucks and Tim Hortons. And Starbucks is a no-no free pasta and Tim Hortons is also kind of a no-no if I can avoid it I will but I really do need some coffee so I'm hoping to find something else I came here but they don't have coffee also it's like also it's like uh, 8 p.m. so that might be another reason why they don't have coffee it's like a it's like a cafe type not cafe it's like a it's like a meal deal type deal meal deal bro i don't know what i'm saying my only other options are a pub which i don't really want to sit at so i guess i'm just gonna go sit at or grab a coffee from tim Hortons. i'm gonna go sit at my gate for the next two and a half hours i am feeling very sleepy i got a small french look which is apparently half full. I didn't get any in that sip. It's really hot. Went through security and my bag always gets pulled aside. Probably because I have a bunch of electronics in it. But tell me why the first time they've pulled aside my bag, opened it, they've seen my Quran in my bag. The guy goes, does it? 180 picks up that little swabby thing to see if uh, it basically checks if there's any like explosive residue on the stuff swipes all my stuff goes back it's negative so he turns around and hands me my stuff that was so funny man i don't know if it was just by like chance or like he saw my john ma's my prayer mat and my quran and he was like mm, this guy <laughs> Two hours to the flight. I need to pray Isha, but I'm just gonna have this coffee first and then I'll find a space. I'm next to my gate, so I just hope it doesn't get delayed anymore. The person at check-in was telling me that the reason it got delayed in the first place was because um, of the lightning and thunder. And apparently no one could go out on the like tarmac to like do stuff. So it just started delaying flights. But sky's clear now, so inshallah we will be leaving at 10. Only a two hour delay this time. Last time I traveled, it was a, it ended up going all the way to a eight or nine hour delay, and then they straight up just canceled the flight. And then we had to get rebooked on another flight, but we really wanted to go the same day. So we went from Toronto to Montreal, then to Vancouver. That was just an extra unnecessary step. Anyway, you never know with Air Canada. It's a, often a hit or miss kind of flight. I'm finally bored, egg. Oh my god. Bro, I swear, plane's gonna take off and I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. <laughs> I'm gonna be so god. I'm gonna be so out of it. Oh man. Alhamdulillah. I now understand why the upgrade was so cheap. It's because the flight's empty.
I've been on this flight a few times. It's often delayed, often end up here at midnight. I've never seen it so busy here at this time. Normally it's completely dead. Walking to baggage claim. Then I'm gonna go home. Uh, the girls, which are, they're both uh, waiting up for me. Uh, normally they're asleep by now. So it's literally past their bedtime, but they're kind enough to stay awake for me. It's been 30 minutes since the no bags. I'm sleepy. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, it's been a few days. I have not been picking up the camera. I've been super busy and I'm super tired if I'm honest. But Alhamdulillah, I'm here. I'm in Vancouver. Uh, it's raining a lot. I can't show you because then you'll know where I live. And uh, unlike my last place, which I was leaving, I I will have to live here. So I'm excited to see the adventures that we come up, go up, come up with, go up with, get up to, get up to. I'm excited to see the adventures we get up to here. I'm super like thankful to God for making this happen, making it so easy and giving me the strength to get here. But yeah, inshallah, I will see you on the next one. Uh, Alafis.